Hi, my name is Enam and thank you for having me again today. I say many thanks to Luxury Auto Collection, Arizona, United States of America. And believe me, there is nothing in the global market that actually competes with the Phantom for good reasons. It's grand in appearance, it has top levels of luxuries and technology along with everything that you can expect. The Rolls Royce Phantom is too ostentatious, for others it's too big and most simply um, can afford one. Remember, clear out all those hurdles though and you are for a treat as there is no other car on the planet that can match the opulence, the superlative ride and comforts that hatch the refinement of this remarkable Rolls Royce flagship. It's absolute pleasure behind the wheel too with effortless performance from a huge big um, V12 engine and chassis that welcomes spirited driving. Now the tech laden Phantom as you see it uses all the ingenuity and expertise of the BMW group and its suppliers and this shit actually wants for nothing but it comes with the latest active safety features and then um, all the systems that are the important place. The rest is up to you, you the viewer with a limited array of color, three modern option choices. It all comes at open expensive price there. The Rolls Royce Phantom has a price tag that means it costs more than the average house uh, for sale in the United Kingdom and it's expensive by um, anybody's estimation or probably um, what buyers that can afford it um, to the experience or to experience an interior that's one of the most luxurious places of all to spend time anywhere and then the let alone in the world of cars. The Rolls Royce Phantom 8 was introduced in 2017 as the second Phantom to be produced by the company since its ownership by BMW. As a result, um, there is BMW technology under the skin, but the accents, the accents, the accents that makes a Rolls Royce a still in place, courtesy of its hand built um, nature of the company's factory in Goodwill West success. Believe me, there are really um, any rivals to the Rolls Royce Phantom, with prices starting in the excess of about 570,000 um, American dollars. It is really a cult in the field of one. The Bentley Mulsanne is cheap uh, around um, a figure within the same range, and while cars like the Mercedes S Class, the Audi A8, BMW 7 series, uh, which is a similar running um, gear to the Phantom, are positively back in and basement in comparison. You could actually argue that the Phantom's closest opposition comes from within, as what we talked about previously, that's the Rolls Royce Cullinan, uses the same track as the Phantom but wraps everything in an SUV body. Well, the interior of the Rolls Royce Phantom is huge and imposing. It's slightly less British um, than before, and it's also lighter in its predecessor in not to actually improve efficiency. The Rolls Royce's, um, that's the Rolls Royce Phantom's infotainment system, has taken a great leap forward in the latest generation car, actually, and has a well as a 12.3 inch YTFT virtual instrument park and there is a 7.3 inch color heard up display plus an animal central TFT display screen that actually interacts or retracts into um, dash when not required with an iDrive style controller that can also be hidden in the stream to central amp rest and then the, the system impressively blends a futuristic feel with the timeless craftsmanship on display everywhere. Automotive interiors don't get any more luxurious than this. With supple leather, real metal trims, beautiful woodwork and astonishing attention to detail, the Phantom will satisfy 
even the most picky of high rollers. Quality is top notch and the level of personalization on offer beggars belief. If you have the money, there is really isn't much Rolls Royce can or even won't do. The Phantom's BMW derived iDrive system has a big 10.25 inch central screen control by what I call a rotary dial mounted between the front seats. It works just like the same system as in um, one series which might irk some owners but actually the bespoke Rolls Royce graphics to differentiate from what BMW has. The screen is bright and screen and the menus are awesome. Another classical thing about the design, the interior and the technology of Rolls Royce Phantom is the mix of craftsmanship, technology and classically inspired contemporary design which is unique to this vehicle. Clearly the most important part of the Rolls Royce Phantom is the rear seat experience coupled with the suicide dogs. The rear seat experience coupled with the suicide dogs are absolutely breathtaking. Rolls Royce refers to the rear cabin as the suite and you virtually got more leg room, head room, shoulder room. Interestingly, the rear seat also massages you as you sit and interestingly, this is the center console and the rest which you can use to control the climatic change and put in so many features in place. Rain, rain, go away. The umbrella tucked away in the door of the Rolls Royce Phantom is a lovely touch but a bit world yesterday. So the Rolls Royce has a great idea department decided to tackle the problem of rain in a different way. The broad idea was to tell us to drip real to the perfect zero size that this will actually um, cut raindrops effectively and channel them away from the doors and glass. Yet we're small enough um, to keep the clean looks and reduce wind noise and aero disturbance. And again, the missing part of the puzzle was how wide the drip reels needed to be active so this so rose royce phantom set up a project to determine the average size of the average raindrop by scanning a range of rain from various parts of the world by actually traveling the globe to measure them the universal raindrop metric was actually used to make all these configurations in the rose royce and that's precisely how wide the drip rail on the current rose royce phantom has made and this is exclusively mind-blowing all you need to do is to press this knob and the center console at the rear seat actually opens up delightfully and this actually gives you a proper view of the cap holders and so many um, features exclusively the champagne fleet which i believe you were looking forward to see and this Rolls Royce Phantom offers a PLX luxury experience that looks and feels more properly than whatever you might ask for. And this flows in a very awesome direction that so many people out there would love to embrace this opulence with this suicidal shutting at its. Um, and I must confess, the Starlight headliner might be something that goes beyond experience. It flows serenely and gives you a proper feel of luxury or in other pragmatic sense, that practical look that you might be looking for in such a hopefully expensive vehicle. Thank you everyone for your time. Until then, I say goodbye.